also carry flotation aids for children. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrest down, window blinds open, and seatbelt fastened. We wish you a pleasant flight, Jeff. the bus was. I goes in there and I went and had a beer or something. I said, I better go to the toilet. I was in. No bowl, no toilet bowl, no nothing. A hole in the clay, a hole in the ground <laughs> and two <laughs> feet, places to put your feet, like shaped like feet. And you put your feet there and you just, that's it. You can imagine the rest. And this wife is just to me, excuse me, but I'm before you, to just hole in the wall. wall. <laughs> yes, all right then. I've never seen that before. A hole oh, and 12 places to put your feet. <laughs> so, when you were saying at number two, you had to match share your oh, aim was like so we're doing the hole. <laughs> How in the hell? That was in Italy. Oh, never seen So, here I am. Two years travelling, and I've just got back. got back to where I started
I've learned a lot in two years. It's not over yet. Just getting started. Got to apply what I've learned in these two years of traveling and put it together, put it to use, create something from it. This is stage two of becoming a digital nomad. And that is carrying on from stage one, which is traveling the world for two years and learning how to be a traveler, how to travel, to see if I enjoy traveling, to see if I can cope with um, hotter environments because you know I'm from Scotland and I'm pale skin and I don't do well in the sun and all that kind of stuff <laughs> so um, you know stuff like that and you know can I survive on an unreliable income can I find free cheap Wi-Fi can I find cheap accommodation can I find work can I meet people and make friends can I use my money wisely all of those things can I figure out how to travel within cities can I figure out how to do you know everything and anything that comes with traveling and you know two years of doing that I'm now confident that a I enjoy long-term travel and B that I can trust myself to look after myself while I'm away for long periods of time um, and that's a very important part of becoming a digital nomad you know if you've never traveled before if you've never been a digital nomad before I think it's important that you learn how to be a traveler before you learn how to be a traveler or try to be a traveler and work while you're traveling. Um, I think it's it's a lot easier to break it into stages. For me, anyway, it's it's looking out like that, and uh, just being able to get that out of the way and now focus now on having a base somewhere that I can apply what I've learned from, not have to worry about opening and closing times, not having to worry about Wi-Fi, not having to worry about um, bills such as rent and food and everything else, you know. These things are now at a minimum thanks to my family who are supporting me in this journey and who I love very much. and. You know, just being able to have this base and really learn the skills of web development that will allow me to transition from just traveling to traveling while working or working while traveling. And I'm looking forward to moving ahead in stage two for the rest of this year. It is currently the beginning of July in 2018 and um, yeah for the rest of the year let's get some learning done let's build a skill let's 